Hey everybody, uh, this is Frank from Frank's Linen and Bath. Not to be confused with uh, TNT's soon to be canceled romantic actionity, Franklin and Bash. And, um, you know, when we first heard about the series, we welcomed it. We thought it would help propel our poorly lit and hard to find storefront to the forefront of Glendale, Arizona's burgeoning linen and bath universe. Uh, but then we actually, we actually watched, um, we watched the series, and as ratings took a nosedive, so too did our sales. We think people seem to associate uh, the show's stuffy storylines with uh, our store's subpar ventilation system and a particular stink that can be found on all the cotton thread bed sheets in our store. Um, even worse, the stiff acting mirrored our floor, our, our floor staff's agoraphobic sales technique. And I don't want to give any spoilers, but when they killed off a minor character in uh, what was really, you know, behind the scenes, a contract dispute, um, it became a PR nightmare. And it reminded us of our own PR nightmare. I'm pretty sure everyone remembers the blind pygmy fiasco of 20 ot 8 You know, hey, we apologize for shipping linen and bath manufacturing plants overseas, specifically Malawi, uh, where we underpaid an entire tribe of blind pygmy natives because their nimble fingers and dead eyes allow them to work quickly at night in the dark without driving up the electric bill in our factory. Now, the plant is still there, and uh, we're still employing them, but we did apologize, so we think that counts for something. So we're looking forward to seeing you down at uh, Frank's Linen and Bath. See you soon.